afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Tom Patton Field here in Manchester for Manchester Public Television's first game of the season for the Central Little Green, the softball women's softball team. They've started off the season 1-0, and they are looking to make their first home win of the year. Here they are getting ready to... A little warm-up action here. Today they're facing the Keen Owls. The Keen Owls are... 0-2 so far early in this season. They have dropped two consecutive games. Their home opener versus Winnicunit, which was a 10-2 loss. And they lost the other day to Bedford 9-1. So the Owls are looking to get their first victory, but the Central Little Green are hoping to keep their winning ways here as they open up the season here at Tom Patton Fields. The team is looking very good so far. It's a cold day it's it's 52 degrees which isn't so so bad for this time of year but uh definitely uh, possibly could rain in a little bit but we'll uh, see how many innings we can get in this game and hopefully we can get the whole game in for you oh. catcher's calling for balls in we're gonna get this game going keen starting off with megan healy Starting off the game, Alyssa Bartlett, Maya Carey, Emma Bartlett, Molly Harvey, Laurel Clace, Courtney Dunham, Brooke Oster, and Emily Richardson. On the mound for Central is Rania Barton. Nine catches, squats down. Umpire says, let's get it on. Let's see what we got from Ms. Harvey, or Healy. And first pitch is a strike. The pitch again. And it's a bunt, goes up, and it stops. And it's gonna be a, in for a hit. Nice bunt single there for Megan Healy. That's the way to get things going for the Keen Owls. Catcher for Central just could not get it out of the sand there. Ali Girardi tried for it, but just could not get it. Oh, nice strike there. Melissa Bartlett was really looking for, uh, she steps into it. But she didn't like with the pitch, so we'll see what she got for the second one. And that's ball wide. Third pitch, bunch up in the air, caught by the third baseman. Good job by Levine there. Cassie Levine was all over that one. And I count that as five unassisted. Maya Carey with a nice swing there. Just to, got underneath it to foul it off. One out here in the top of the first inning. Another high ball, one and one count here. Ooh, nice swing and strike there. Ronya Barton has a nice array of pitches here so far. And I, umpire says she wins. That's going to be strike three. Now two outs at the top of the first. Ball low there to Emma Bartlett. Second pitch here for Rania. And a stolen base. Keen getting someone into scoring territory here. Megan Healy with a stolen base. Oh, called strike there. Home plate umpire is Bruce Taggart. Tigert, excuse me, and 
Out in the field we got Protect Dave Philibot. Foul ball. Got us a little excited over here. Started to aim our way, but thankfully it wasn't hit too hard. We didn't have to get out of, duck out of the way or anything. Daniel gets ready. Pitch. Just wide. Contact Shoot two count. Bartlett steps out, takes on a couple practice swings. Gets ready, Rania with the pitch. They're outside again, full count here. Full count, here's the pitch. And strike three. Nice two Ks for Rania. Central will come up the bat. We'll be back for this. See how Central does here on Manchester Public Television. And here we are, bottom of the first inning. Leadoff batter is Molly Heath. She takes a foul to the fence there for strike one. Oh, nice long, but cans and corns right there to the right fielder for the first out there. So, P9 there, pop out to the ninth hitter. Emma Bartlett out there. Matira Tamzerian, 13th for Central up to bat. It's a high pitch. Just looking down at third base coach. Fouled off. One on one count here. Pitching for Keen is Alyssa Bartlett. She. Oh, nice slap swing. Goes right into the left field. Gets a nice single there is Matra. Matara, excuse me. I'm saying her name wrong. Gonna be one of those names. Well, I'll get used to as the season goes on here. Allie Girardi, catcher. Takes the ball low, gets away from the catcher, and Matara has a nice stolen base. Could be a good way to get a couple easy runs if those balls are getting away from the catcher. Emily Richardson there. Doing the catching duties for the Keen Owls. 1 1 count there to a Girardi. Pitch. A swing and a miss there. She looks like she took a little bit of speed off of that one that kind of got. made it a little difficult for Allie there. Pitching for the Owls is Alyssa Bartlett again, like I mentioned. Wind's coming from the highway here at Tom Pat Field today. Oh, a strike there from the umpire. Two strikes there to Girardi. Uh, foul one off again. Now we are playing actually at the JV, JV field here at Tom Pat Field as the varsity field was flooded from a sprinkler. So hopefully they can get that all fixed up. They got uh, crews over there raking it up and everything. But uh, yeah, we are definitely not on the right field at this point today. Uh, long fly out to center, and it is caught. No chance for any sort of sack play. Good catch by number nine, Megan Healy. She was a leadoff hitter. She was the bunt single. So that makes two outs there. Just making contact to the outfield. We'll see what Cooper Levine can do here. Oh, we got a ball that got away from the catcher again. She was able to get to third base there as Matara. Ready 
Cooper could get a nice RBI here if she can get any sort of ball that can she smack out there. She tried, but she almost hit the whole entire central team, JV team on the sidelines. She's a little bit behind on that, but it's okay. She she knows what to expect here, hopefully. Oh, she let that one go by. Sometimes it's just difficult. You don't think it's gonna stay where it's gonna go, but two strikes here on Cooper. Oh, she smacks it. Foul ball. That could really be helpful there. That was a close on the line, but the umpire there, Bruce Tiger, said foul. So we'll see if Cooper can get redemption here. Richardson calling some plays there. And strike three there. As we enter the end of the first inning, a 0-0 ball game. This one's looking very good, so we'll be right back in just a moment. Top of the second inning here for those Keen Owls get their second time up to bat. Starting off with Molly Harvey. Ronnie Barton had a great first inning with two Ks. Well, that one was a little, little change up there. That was a little too changey. Goes for a ball one. And there we go. Bartlett gets, lets that one go by, make it a, excuse me, Harvey. Sometimes it's difficult reading your own writing, as everyone can understand. Strike two there. One two count there to Harvey. Ronnie Barton looks to get the call. Ooh, just a little outside there. Two two count. Ali Girardi with the catcher duties. Fouled off. Girardi and Barton seem to have really good connection here. There, some different signs, placements. A wind up. And strike three there. Girardi throws it to the Levines. Third K of the game. Now up for the Owls, lefty Laurel Clace. Strike one. Some speed on that one. Place the third base, uh, first baseman, excuse me, for the Keen team. Nice framing by Girardi, but the umpire was not taking it. Ball one. Base with a strike two. Barton back with a fastball. Short enough. Contact. That's it. That's all you need to do. Come on. Barton with the windup. And the uh, ump says strike three. Place goes down looking there. Now it's a bat. Courtney Dunham. Shortstop. Low for ball one. Quick hands, good. Barton with the wind up. And ball two. We haven't seen her have to fight back in a count so far. It's gonna be interesting to see here if uh, Courtney Dunham can do something. And back to the fastball. Always much difficult for in softball. These balls, even though they're they're not going exceptionally fast as a fastball in baseball, they're such a short distance. Ball three. Kind of looks at another third base coach. Steps in. Barton with the pitch. And ball four. Base on balls there. Ball 
Brooke Oster with 23 for the Owls. She is playing out in left field. Strike one. Tough swing. It was a little outside from the, from this angle here, but obviously uh, I'm not in the batter's box, so I can't say that. And strike two. A quick throw down to first, but she is back on the bag. Barton gets gets the call, gets the sign, winds up, and strike three. Three Ks in the second inning for Barton. Let's see what Central can do as they come up to bat here. We'll be right back. All right, up to bat here at the bottom of the second inning, Cassie Levine in the five spot, takes a strike. Coach Emily says step up in the batter's box, get a little closer. Ball high. Cassie played varsity hockey for the past two seasons here. She was even the captain this year. And she gets a hold of one. Can it get, fall in the gap? No, it cannot as the center fielder gets it. It looks good, but Megan Healy said she wanted it and she went and got it. So the first out there for the Owls. Now have to bat for Central. Jessica Lewis. Goalie for the Central All-Star Soccer Team who won the state championship. That was a great game that they had. They scored four goals. I know we covered it for Manchester Public Television, but uh, I was covering it for another station that day. Richardson takes the call. Ooh, nice placement, but it's just a little too high, says the umpire. Melissa Bartlett. She had a pretty good first inning. Did not as many Ks as what Barton has, but all that matters is your team is behind you. Three fly balls to the outfield so far for Central, but they're all being caught. Good cut there. She's having to pay protection here as Lewis. And she takes the third strike there. Unorthodox little round the horn here from uh, the Keen Owls. They throw it to first instead of third, so. That is Bartlett's second K of the game. Now up to bat, Abby Heath. She's playing center here this today. Oh, a little high pitch, but umpire says yes, it was a strike. She's down on the count, 0-1. Little bit behind it, fouls it off the fence, so 0-2 count. Violet wearing the face masks. Needed for protection. It's along with the first baseman has it too. Uh, the high pitch right there. Heath was gonna have to get on some stilts to get that pitch. Richardson with the call. Bartlett. And low pitch this time. 2-2. Two -two. Which Emily Sedita is saying she wants a battle here. Let's see what happens here with Bartlett with the pitch. And strike three. Very quick inning there with two Ks and a fly out to center there. We go to the top of the third here. Keen zero, Central zero. We'll be right back. Now to bat, number 10, Emily Richardson, the catcher here for the Keen Owls. Tries for a bunt, but it's going to be foul. Good attempt. That was the, uh, the way that Megan Healy got on base in the first inning. Really been the only 
base for only hit of the game so far. Whoa, really far behind that one, but it's okay. She's still in it. Two strikes. Her teammates were definitely ducking for cover there. Ronya Barton. With the strike three, that's the fourth straight K there for Barton. So they're six of the game so far. Megan Healy, who I just mentioned, she's up to the bat now. First batter. Big swing there. But she missed it a little bit. Pitch number two. To, a little bit behind it. Hits off the... Stays in play there. The tree actually saved her from anyone having to go get it. Kudos to the tree for keeping this game going. Healy's got two strikes. Let's see what Barton has in her bag of pitches here. Oh, flies out to the shortstop there. It looked like it might land, but it definitely was, uh, saw that it was not gonna go out into the outfield and it was easily caught there with a second out. Alyssa Bartlett, the pitcher up to... Too many lefties in this game. Alyssa's got a really nice step into it. She was uh, ready for that pitch, but ball two there from Barton. Oh, there's a strike there. 2-1 count. Quick hand, quick hand, go. Three, ball three there. Alyssa was way ahead of that. Was really trying for the swing and really he tries to get ahead and slaps the ball. Just like that. These trees are saving us a lot of time and effort here. A little bit into play, it kind of fits a, a pop fly. Hopefully it goes out into the field because the catcher will, a little high pitch on that. Full count. Be the seventh pitch of the bat from Barton. Always a fun seeing battles between pitchers. Barton. Oh yeah, ball four. Base on balls. Goes Bartlett. The third person to get on base here. Maya Carey. Playing second base for the Owls. Coach is coming out and talking to the umpire here. We're gonna get a pinch runner there. Pinch runner on, for Keen. Number seven. Maya steps into the box. Barton looks down, gets the sign. Hello. Nice block from the catcher there. Kylie Gordon is the runner there at first. She'll most likely be coming in for the rest of the game. Nice hit right to Levine. Throws it to first for the third out. Nice 4-3 play there. And we end the inning. Central coming up to bat in just a moment. Central up for the bottom of the third inning. It's still a 0-0 game. Brianna 
to Vern. After Brad. Alyssa Bartlett throwing some throw some good pitches there. She she got the courtesy runner in the last inning. That's what that was all about there. Kaylee Gordon is not in the game. It is still going to be Alyssa Bartlett on the mound here. She gets the call from Richardson. Shakes her off. Finally gets the call. The pitch. Strike two. O2 to Brianna. She's hard swing there, but just went a little foul. See if she can battle it out. And another foul. Ricochets back into the field. The second baseman has to get it. Abby Heath with paying attention there. Gives it, excuse me, Maya Carey. Oh, ball there. Fifth pitch of the bat. Still we get a one, two count. Winds up. Another foul. Brianna is really fighting hard on this at bat. The eighth hitter of the central little green here. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. Just wide. She gets a hold of it. Oh, nice snag by the first baseman. Good battle there, but Alyssa Bartlett, Alyssa Bartlett thanks her third baseman there for the easy out. Rania Barton is pitching a heck of a game up to bat in the nine hole. Hard swing, but just foul off the backstop. Gets the pitch from Bartlett. A little bit behind that one. Bartlett and, and Barton had a nice battle in the last inning, so glad to see them back at it. Oh, just low, just outside. It'll stay in play, it will not. Foul ball. You got it, Rania, right on it. Still a one two count there to Rania. Rania walked Bartlett last inning, so we'll see what and strike three there. Alright, here we go. Our leadoff batter, Molly Heath comes up. Coach Emily is telling her to get on top of the ball here. Gets into the box. Barlett gets the pitch. A little high. Richardson gives Barlett the pitch. Just outside, two balls. Central teammates are on her side there. They're rooting for Molly to get do something here. Oh, nice hit right to the center field for a single. She really likes to hit it to center there because that's how she got out the at the first inning. But she gets a single, a two-out single. Let's see if Central can get something going here. As coaches say, running on anything here. Tyra Tamzerian. She got on in the first. We got a little talk between players and coaches here. The 
Bartlett Richardson for Keene talking. Finally, Tyra comes, gets to go step in the box here. Still two outs here, bottom of the third. She gets a hold of it, it's looking like it's gonna go foul. The little kid was trying to catch it with his bare hands, or at least he's got gloves on, but it, thankfully it didn't happen. One strike here. Here we go, one three, here we go, one three. And the pitch. Low, but it gets away from the catcher. Should be an easy stolen base there by Molly Heath. The way things are going, this is just one run could be the difference in this game here. So we'll see what can happen here. Just got a little bit away from Richardson there. Bartlett with the pitch. And it's foul again. Not much movement there from the JV players. They really aren't uh, trying to get it or get out of the way. They're just kind of sitting there watching the ball. Two strikes, Simitara. Calls time, gets it, but Bartlett's ready to pitch. Oh. There we go, Matara, let's go on three. Umpire. Matara gets the timeout call. Bartlett might not like that. And that is strike three. Seemed like it was a little high, but it's okay. That's, uh, that's going to be the third out. and We'll go to the top of the fourth inning here for a 0-0 zero -zero game on Manchester Public Television's softball game of the day. Top of the fourth inning here as the Keen Owls come to bat. Up to the plate is Emma Bartlett, the right fielder. She swings and hits it. Hits it right to second, throws it out for the first. Nice 4-3 play. Levine with two good plays at second base there. There's a right over to Matara, Tyra. Molly Harvey up here for the Keen Owls. She struck out in the second. A fly ball that's gonna go into the soccer field. Trying to make some contact now. Here we go, straighten it out. She had a swing and strike out in the second inning. The first of three in the second inning. Barton has been on her game so far. And strike two there to Molly Harvey. Owls haven't really had much contact. There we go, it's a long fly ball out to left field. It is caught there for the second out. Molly Heath says, Bring it, guys. I'm ready for him. She gets on, the pop fly out. Teammates loved that. Laurel Clace up to bat. She is the first baseman there for the Owls. Ball outside. She had a called strike three on her in the second inning as well. She only looked at four pitches, so she's going to. Also get more is ball two. Be ready now, be ready. <laughs> Strike one. Come on, this, uh, this wind is it's, it's a little bitey here. It's definitely not uh, the funnest temperatures to play here in softball, but just got a piece of it, but it was Hey, Caught for contact. strike two. A 2-2 two -two count. And for Barton. Strike three is called. Three up, three down here in the top of the fourth. We'll be right back as Central tries to get something going here. 
And the bottom of the fourth inning here, Allie Girardi comes up to bat. She flew out to center in the first inning here. See what she can do here in the bottom of the fourth. Uh, she tried to hold up, but it wasn't possible as she takes strike one. At least she had a three run homer in the first game of the season versus Londonderry, a 12 7 win. Good try by the fan to catch it. He's a little upset with himself that he did not catch it. He, he's trying to make up for an excuse for why he didn't catch it, but either way, it's strike two. Now, fans always enjoy that. A guy tries to make a heroic play and doesn't work. Ball high. Girardi was not getting the stilts. Coach Emily saying, don't shrink down too much. You gotta be able to step into it. Ball two. Catcher here for Central off the bat. 2 2 pitch. And it's ball three. Good work of the count here. Bartlett set a good game here, but see what happens with this pitch. And another foul ball. The fan has somehow disappeared. He did not want to try to catch that one. But the little boy from the inning before, he's now collecting balls. He's got two. I don't know if this is supposed to be some sort of Fenway type game, but he's he's got he's doing a good job of another foul ball. Eighth pitch of this at bat here from Ali Girardi to stop to the bottom of the fourth inning. Girardi gets a hold of it and puts it right past the first baseman. It will go for a single. The right fielder even tried to throw it down to first base to get the out, but it's too much, and Ali Girardi gets a single here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Great at bat there from Girardi. Nine pitch at bat. Here comes Cooper Levine. She played basketball on the co-ed. Goes for a bunt. She got a hold of it. But is fouled off to the catcher. It's for strike one. The infielders are all ready for it. They're looking. Expecting another bunt. Oh, strike two. Cooper looking for a pitch. She gets a hold of one, sends it out to, but it's caught by the center fielder there. Girardi gets back to first. Good pitch and hit, or good swing by Cooper, but it just went straight to the center fielder. Cooper, nice Megan Healy has had a good good day out there in center. She's definitely looking very strong for that outfield for the Keen Owls, but. Cassidy, the sister, twin sister, she tries to munt too, but is unsuccessful. Goes right back to Richardson, the catcher, for strike one. Trying to manufacture some runs here out of the central little green. Pitch number two is a, looked like a little wide from this angle, but umpire has a better angle than we do. Bruce says strike two. There we go. That one's a ball. That one was a little scary. Everyone was kind of holding their breath there to see what that call was going to be. Bartlett for the pitch. And it's handcuffed her. Could be a double play, but she beats it out at first. Girardi out at second, and Cassie Levine on first with the fielder's choice there. Get on top of the ball, 
That was a good turn of the play by the Owls. Now it's about Jessica Lewis, the all-star goalie for the soccer team here. About in the sixth hole. Playing shortstop. Another strike there. Coach is saying it's a big strike zone there from Bruce. And she gets a hold of it, gets it right through. Good single there, puts Cassie Levine on second, Jessica Lewis on first, trying for some two out magic here. Abby Heath, the second baseman now up to bat. She looked at a called strike three in the second inning. Barlett winds up. And a high fly ball. Barlett's got a call for it and will get it. And we will go to the fifth inning. This game is going by really fast because it's a 0-0 ball game. We'll be right back in just a moment. And we are back here. The top of the fifth inning, Corey, Courtney Dunham off the bat. She is the shortstop for the Owls. She hits it, not too far. Let's see if the Levine, oh, it just drops in. Dunham almost went to second base on that one as no one was there. Tough play by Levine and it'll go for a, a single. Donovan had walked in the second inning and now gets a single here in the fifth inning. So now to bat, Brooke Oster. She struck out in the second inning. Tries to bunt. It is thrown out. Great job there. It looked like Brooke had got a piece of it. It kind of got Dunham kind of leaning there. She finally went to second, but she was thrown out there. A strike of a pitch there by Girardi. And now we got one out here in the top of the fifth. Oster took the ball last. Now it's 1 1 count. Shocked in that play. Girardi really didn't think she had a chance and then threw that laser. Oster gets a hold of it. Hits it right to the left field. Gets it in quick. She looks up that. Nice job by Molly Heath to get it quickly back in. Keeping her just a, a single. Emily Richardson. She uh, looked at a strike go by in the third. She bunts it. Good drop. But she's thrown out at first. Good sacrifice. Come on, Meg. Bring that run. Oster up to second base now. Oh, you kid. How you poke that ball? Megan Healy, the leadoff batter, up to bat her third time up. Good eye. Good eye. So far this game, she is one for two. Uh, that's right there, I was gonna say. The, not much of a foul territory here at the JV Tom Patton Field. High pitch. Bart still in the still in the game here. K's are not going coming as easy as they were in the first couple innings. Solid third base there. Good job by Oster. Levine just could not get a hold of it. Oh, 
contact. Girardi threw it. Nice pitch to, nice throw to Cassie Levine. He just couldn't, couldn't hit, hold it. Now we got runners at third base. The furthest any runners really come this game. Megan Healy waits for the pitch from Barton. And fouled. Down towards us on the third base line. Two strikes there. See if Barton can keep her K streak alive, Regening. Uh, fouled off. Not much room there for the first baseman even to make a try at it. Otira really was, was leaning, but she just could not get it. Healy, Barton. And over to third. First out. That's the third out. Some little pressure there from Central, but it all worked out. We will now go to the bottom of the fifth with a 0 0 ball game still here for Manchester Public Television's softball game of the day. Bottom of the fifth inning here is the Central Little Green. Look to try to get something on the board here. Brianna Devarney off the bat. She hit it to the first base in last inning. Oh, and she's kind of did the same thing this time. Hits it right to the, the first baseman who tags her for the out. Laurel Clace with the unassisted play there. So one out here. Rania Barton, the pitcher. Lean a little far behind that one on that. Right on top of it. Strong hand, Rania. For strike one. Rania, have a good game pitching. Gets a hold of it, hits it right to the third baseman who throws it to first. Nice scoop of the play. A little snow cone, but it's the second out there. Here we go, Moss. Molly Harvey over to Clace. Two quick outs here for Central Little Green. Molly Heath, the leadoff batter. Third time up. She got up there in the third. Two out, a little single. See if she can do this again for the fifth. That's a Uh, Looks like a good pitch from this angle, but a little high there. Molly leaves a lot on the front leg. Oh, it's over to third base again. Over to first place with a big inning there for the Keen Owls. Three quick outs there as Keen get, goes up to bat in the sixth inning. We'll be right back in just a moment with that. And a pitcher-pitcher battle to start off the sixth inning as Alyssa Bartlett comes up to bat for the Owls. Anya Barton and her have had a couple good battles this game. Well, she gets a hold of it, snaps it just barely over the shortstop's head for a single there. Bartlett had gotten up on base for with a walk, I believe, in the third inning. She's now gets a nice single to start off the sixth inning. She's gonna get the special pitch runner here. Kaylee Gordon, again, on, pitch right. running for her. Go, she go. did in the third inning. Maya Carey up to bat. She struck out in the first and hit to the second base and threw out her first in the third. Strike call there. Zero, zero here in the sixth inning. A little behind that. Almost nearly hit the next batter up. Emma Bartlett says, okay, I'll go over here, guys. I don't need to deal with any more pain. 
That's two strikes there to carry. Ball high. Girardi looked at possibly throwing it to first, but held off. A pitch high off the backstop. This is a lot different than other fields. Is this backstop in foul territory is right there. So any of these balls that can hit right back to the catcher if they go wild. 2-2 two, two count. And she hits it to second again. She throws it to first, gets the lead runner there. Good job by Levine to get that lead runner. One out here. Now it's about the lefty, the sister of the girl that just got thrown out of second, Emma Bartlett. And that's playing out in right field. She looks to bunt it. It gets up in the air, but no one is able to get it. It's going to be strike one. Okay. Emma Contact. struck out Contact. for the third out in the first and got thrown out by Levine at second in the fourth inning. Ball wide. Here you go, kid. Here we go. Riley, who was nearly hit by that foul ball by Carey, the last at bat. That's another foul ball. Hey. Short swing. Getting contact. That's all coach can ask for. There was first couple innings, there wasn't much contact. But now with a 1 2 hole, we'll see what happens here. And she fouls it off again. Made a battle. Here we go now. Keep making contact. 1 2 count. Fouled all three of her pitches. Consecutive pitches here. Barton, ball two. Try to get her to go outside here. She didn't fall for it. Go nine, let's go, let's go. Let's go, here you go. Barton here. Short swing, the kid. Short swing. Top of the six, still going strong. Another foul ball. Six pitches so far in this at bat. And we only got a 2 2 count. Win the battle down there. Win that battle. Ball high. Gets the count yeah. full. Took Emma Bartlett battling. Come on. One out here on the top of the sixth. Rania gets the call. And ball four. Just a little wide. Base on balls there. So those scoring at home. One down, first and second here for the Keen Owls. That's a bat, Molly Harvey. Playing third base. She had a good inning last inning there. Two long throws across the diamond, but she got him. Let's see if she can uh, keep her streak going here. She pops it up. See if the first baseman can. Oh, the players are in the way. She's looking down at him like, get out of here, guys. Here we go, straight That sh could have, it should have been an out there. But we'll take strike one here. This is at the other field. I, most likely that would have been an out. I guess home field advantage isn't always possible. Okay, Carey, leaning, nice wants to keep Girardi guessing at the catcher. And it's a single out to, and we're going home with it. And it, that's gonna be the first run of the game. Well, we got a, almost a pickle type attempt there. Good single there by Molly Harvey to get an RBI to put Keen up one nothing. Still one out. Runners on first and second again for Laurel Class. Ball high, 
high. She's going. She is called safe there. Both runners move up. Emma Bartlett with a head first slide here in the third base. That's an opportunity to get two runners in here now. Girardi has to be on her game now. Barton in some trouble here. Sixth inning. Tries to the bunt and it's fouled. Coach Emily is coming out to talk to her. She wants to get all of her players on the same page now. Because there could have been an out there after that last uh, last hit. The ball came to the catcher, but no one was really ready at any of the positions here. So obviously, the first home game, you want to have uh, everyone on the same page. And that's what uh, Coach Emily Sedita is trying for here. Slowly starting to make his way out there. Only have so much time to talk. And he decides to turn around. Two one count. To place. Barton with the pitch. And a strike. 2 2 count. Coach Emily is talk here. Could make a huge difference in this game now. A lefty waits for the pitch. Barton gets the call. Wind up. And that is strike three. That's their third time looking this game. So two outs here for Courtney Dunham. She walked in the second and got a single there in the first, but she was thrown out at second base trying to steal. Gets behind it. Anya Barton with the pitch. And just fouled out of play. Bring it out. Let's go. That's two strikes. Anya Barton trying to get out of herself out of a little jam here. Not a foul ball. She's getting a little under it. Trying to have a level swing to try to make contact with drive it the other way, but instead it's going behind and over the backstop. Dunham, the shortstop. Good stop by Girardi. Bart stepped on the mound. Gets the call. Another foul ball. This one's almost towards us, but the trees are going to save us. Way to stay alive. Way to stay alive. doing a good job. She's really a. Uh, get contact, but it's just not working. Another foul ball. This gentleman, Bruce Tiggert, could be running out of balls in due time if some of these aren't coming back to him. Barton with another pitch. 
that's strike three. Central Little Green get out of trouble, leaving two base runners on with just one out, but they are behind one nothing as we go to the bottom of the sixth here at Manchester Public Television. And back for the bottom of the sixth inning here as the Central Little Green, Central Little Green come up to bat. Tara Tamzirian comes up to, she got a single in the first, but didn't do anything. She pops it up to the pitcher for the first pitch of the bat. That's the first out there. In the majors, you don't see pitchers really going for those balls, so it's kind of nice to see uh, the pitcher not being afraid to, to get it. Allie Gerard with an up to bat now. Did a good job catching. Gerard with the second pitch. Low. Central teammates are all on her side yelling her name right now, trying to get anything going. Well, that was a little uh, close to us. Thankfully, she had some contact, and uh, it went to, to the trees be behind us. But uh, that angle was uh, was pretty good there by Allie Girardi. <laughs> Got her uh, adrenaline going a little bit more than we had beforehand. Oh, nice outside call. Come on, Al. Allie flew out to center and the, oh, the wind is, see if it's gonna drop here. It's dropping. She gets a hit. She's thinking about going to second, but she's gonna hold off for a nice single. Right in the gap there between right field and center. Great placement there by Allie Girardi. Cooper Levine. Got the Levine sisters coming for the four and five spots. Cooper struck out in the first and hit out to center. This is gonna make it interesting here for Alyssa Bartlett. No outs, runner on first. See what happens here. Cooper waiting for the pitch. Watch the didn't like that look of that, but. Barlett steps on the mound, gets the call, and pitch. On contact, it is a fair ball. Cooper Levine with a nice single. Gets the runner over to third. Ali Girardi now in scoring position there. Cooper Levine with a single right down the first base line. Just dropped it over the first baseman's head in the line. Bounced over into the foul territory. The coach for Keene is out here talking. Obviously we can't hear what he's talking about, but I'm wondering if uh, he did not like the call on that one. If, it was down the line and he thought it was foul or what was gonna happen or maybe the fan interference. They're wanting to make the uh, the players go back to first and second here. That'd be my thought. Maybe the fan interference kind of caused the second base not to be able to get it. The umpires are gonna get together now and discuss this. See what their the call of this one is gonna be. Girardi's looking very comfortable at third base. She does not want to go back to second if this is what the umpire is going to call. The umpires making the call. We're going to keep them where they are. Girardi is going to stay at third. And we got a pinch runner for Levine at second. Can't see who the base runner is at second base. I can't really see the the numbers here from this angle. Lisa Cologne is the base runner. Up 
Myers is still talking, trying to figure this out. He's finally getting the mask back on. One out here. Uh, could be a foul. It is going to be a foul ball. Strike one for Cassidy. She's got two gooses on the pond. They're ready to fly home. Cassidy with some RBIs the last game against Londonderry. See if she can get some more here. Strike two. Pitch, hit, just away from the pitcher. It's gonna get a run in, she's thrown out at first. But we got a tied up game here. Good sacrifice from Cassidy Levine. Brings in Girardi and Cologne over to third base. Runner still in scoring territory. Tied up game here. Finally, we get some scoring here in the sixth inning. Green, let's go. Now up to bat, Jessica Lewis. Lewis gets a hold of it. Can it drop in? It's flown out. Good job by the right fielder to catch that, squeeze it in, and we go to the top of the seventh. 1-1 one, one game here on Manchester Public Television's softball game of the day. And we're back here for the top of the seventh inning here as the Keen Owls and the Central Little Green battle it out. And the 1-1 one, one ball game here as Brooke Osser comes up to the plate. She takes the pitch. And a strike. Brooke struck out in the second and got to a single in the fifth that got all the way to third base, but she wasn't able to score. Takes Barton with the pitch. It's low. Maybe a... Special pitch that she had there, but she looked like a little bowling action going on. Barnes had a good game, only giving up one run. And fly up. No one's calling for it. And it's going to drop in for a single. That was a tough one there. Barton thought someone else was going to get it. Jessica Lewis tried to come in from shortstop to get it, but there's too far of a run. And it's gonna fall in for an unfortunate single there. Brooke Oster on first. Go, go, go! Ball gets away from Girardi, brings her up to second. Brooke, nobody at, you're tagging on a small ball, okay? Let's go! Well, ugly fielding so far in the top of the seventh inning here. Emily Richardson took the ball there. Richardson's having a pretty good catching day here. Rania, it's a little talk from Girardi. Girardi puts her mitt on, calls the next pitch. Central is looking for Keen to bunt here. See what happens. Now there's two balls. Strike there from Rania. Barton with the windup. And finally she bunts. Rania gets it, throws over to first for the out, but Brooke Osser over to third base. Only one out here. Lead off Megan Healy up to bat. We are going to have a meeting at the mound here. Looks like we're going to possibly discuss what they're going to do here. She's throwing a lot of pitches here, but it doesn't seem like Coach Emily is going to take her out just yet. No one's been warming up, and it's only a 1-1 game, but now with a runner at third base, they got to be ready for any sort of sacrifice or suicide squeezes. Up, 
meeting over and then goes to their positions. Megan Healy, our fourth time up the bat. She got a bunt single in the first, so she definitely knows how to bunt pretty well. Umpire says, hold up, I'm gonna clean off the plate. All the toolkits that the umpires have, including that little brush and the clicker. Megan Healy, pitch from Rania, and it's fouled up. Can the catcher get it? Just lands outside. She had a good read of it to Girardi, but it was just a little too far outside of the box and lands on top of the dugout. Strike one. Ronnie Barton gets the sign. Just inside. Uh, Megan Healy was thought that was a little too tight for her legs. And definitely made a face to her coach here. Wow, a really high strike call. That was a very high. That'd be a strike on me, and I'm six foot two. Megan Healy strikes out. No one's uh, very pleased with the umpire's calls there. Pitcher Alyssa Bartlett fouls one off here. We got to get out. Flew out to the first base in the first and got a walk in the third. Yeah, she gets a hold of one. Is it far enough to make a play? Oh, nice catch there. Gets out of the inning there is Barton. She's excited for that. A great play there by Molly Heath. See if Central can end this game in the bottom of the seventh inning. We'll be right back in just a moment. And we are back for the action here at Patton Field, bottom of the seventh inning. Abby Heath up to bat, tied 1-1 game. Strike one. She looks like she wanted that pitch back to possibly drive it, but it cannot come back. We'll go for pitch number two from Bartlett. Swing and a miss there by Heath. Strike two. Barlett seems to be growing more dominant as the game goes on. Oh, high calls here from the uh, umpire here as it's strike three is called, but to Abby Heath. Be ready. Here we go. To Varney up to. Here we go, Bree, here we go, Bree. Brianna DeVarney up to bat now. Playing out in right field. We haven't heard her name too much today. She was ready for the bat, but fouled it off. DeVarney's grounded out to first base two different times in this game. See if she can get it in between the second baseman and first baseman this time. So Varney again fouls it off to this almost the same spot. Good job, Bree. Bree, have Two a strikes. So Varney took the pitch, and the umpire didn't think it was that high this time, and we got a ball one. One two count to Devarney. Devarney gets a hold of it, but is caught by the second baseman for the second out of the inning. Easy catch there by Maya Carey for the second out. Now the pitcher, Rania Barton, comes up. Barton struck out and grounded out to first. She could not hold up. We got a call strike there. Good, Here we go. good job by the coach Akeen to call that to see if it was a strike or not. And sure enough, it was by the 
first base umpire there, Bruce Philibot. Strike two by Rania. Barton down 0-2 in the count. And that is strike three to end the seventh inning. We'll be back for the top of the eighth here. And Manchester Public Television Central High School softball game here. Well, welcome back for the eighth inning here. A long drive really into the gap here. The first pitch is just going. She is rounding the She's going to wild throw, and it's going to be a... She was called safe there. Big play there by Maya Carey getting a hold of that. Putting the Keen Owls up 2-1. to one. Action just came back there in the top of the eighth inning. That was the first pitch. Was expecting that from Maya Carey. Rania Barton. That's as tough as that. There's no fence at this JV field. If we were on the other field, that would not have been where it happened. She probably would have been at third base, but because there's no fence here at the JV field, that was a huge play in this game. Good on. Come on now, how you chop that ball? The bat here, Emma Bartlett. She struck out before. The fourth batter. A strike there. Emma, you're trying too hard, dude. Nice quick hand. Come on. Strike two there. Hey. Barley didn't really like that call. No. She thought about it, but... Ball wide. Come on, balls, two Got strikes there. And pitch around you. All four. My apologies, I thought that was only ball three, but she will take a base on balls. Right off the bat, Molly Harvey. Hey. Still no outs here in the top of the eighth. Ball one. Good job, stop by Girardi. Harvey gets a hold of it again, drops, and a nice catch there. She throws it back to first. And gets the double play, an unorthodox 8-3 double play. You don't see that too often. Emma Bartlett leaned a little bit too much, thought that ball was gonna drop in, and unfortunately it did not. Thrown out at first base for now for two outs. Laura Place off to bat now. Ball a little wide. Place the first baseman. She's struck out three times so far this game. Swing at the high pitch there. 1-1 one, one count. Place with the pitch. Fouls went off. Back to the backstop. This foul territory, let me just tell you, it's, those balls are really coming, deflecting right back onto the field. One two count to Clace. And strike three. Three quick outs there from Central, but they are now down two to one as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Maya Carey, two. Runs herself there. One in the sixth, one in the eighth, and we'll see what Central can do here. And we'll be back in just a moment. Top of the lineup for the Central Green here. 
in the top of the eighth inning here. Molly Heath had a great day out in the field. Hoping to get on base and hopefully tie this game up. She flew out to right field before and grounded out to the third baseman there in the fifth. Having a great day out in left field to see what she can do here. Pops it up. Going to go out of play there. Just barely. No one really. A lot of disgruntled people with that call. She gets a hold of it, and it is foul ball. Looks good there at first. I could not get the camera around fast enough. Just kind of looking to see what was going to happen there. So I apologize for those people at home that are watching this game. Molly with the called strike three there to Molly Heath. First out here of the eighth inning. Tyra Tanzerian off to bat now. Gets the pitch. Just a little inside there. It looks like it could be the call. Tyra, seconds. Good job by the catcher trying to bring it down. It looked like it was a strike, but it was a little high there. Strike there. Bartlett's still out there pitching for these Keen Owls. Gets the sign and the pitch. And she's hit. She was hit and she will take the first base there. Not what Alyssa Bartlett wanted for that. I was hoping for her. Coach is asking if she's all right. One out here. Now Ali Girardi up to bat. Girardi gets a hold of it. Hits it right to the center fielder though for the second out of this game, or the uh, inning, excuse me. Really good contact there, but she, the center fielder just had to make a few steps in and get the out. Now Cooper Levine up with two outs, hoping to get Make something happen here for the little green. Cooper struck out in the first. Had a Cooper Levine gets a hold of it. It's sky and flying out there. And it is caught by the center fielder, and that will end the game there as the Keen Owls will take the win two to one. Maya Carey with the Owls with the two runs for the Owls as the kind of ruins the Central Little Green's home opener here at Tom Batten Fields. What a great game, really quick. Not much action, but if you like defense and you like pitching, this is the game you want to see here. So from for Kyle Heavey here for Manchester Public Television, our photographer Hope was here for a little bit, but I had to, she had to take off, and we'll be back with more action here as Central Little Green, Memorial Crusaders, will have all sorts of entertainment for you for another day. So thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you all later.